Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Taka, and it is time for a thrift store finds video. Uh, it is November 23rd. This video covers from Monday the 18th through today. And sorry if the video is a little lower quality. I'm having to use Abby, my old laptop, because Stitch decided to just not power on at all yesterday, and I went through all this stuff with HP on the messenger and alas they're sending me a box so I can send it in and thank goodness it's still under warranty because I literally got it a year ago in the mail today um and it's got a two-year warranty on it so it's going to get fixed for free but I have to use the older laptop in the meantime so I did slightly better than last week I'll start with just a few toy items I got so I'm not going to take them out of the bag but I got Pumba from Timon and Pumbaa, the TV show. It's greetings from Timon and Pumbaa. And it's just a nice simple one. There's a little postcard for the explanation in it. And then similarly, I got a little Bambi. Uh huh. I feel this represents him on the ice very well because every time I go to move him, one of his legs just falls right out from under him. So, but I couldn't resist a Bambi. And those two I have the St. Denise and Ishpeming, which I will tell you had the best Christmas selection of all the stores so far this year. Let's get that on. Uh, Scrooge McDuck here was 50 cents, and this is Scrooge McDuck a la Scrooge's Christmas Carol in his sleepwear. So it's Mickey's Christmas Carol, which I can't remember what year that dates to, but this is definitely a vintage toy. And he does still have his little glasses on. Sometimes those fall off. And then figurine-wise, I, I didn't go too crazy. Um, I picked this up for, I think blue was the color week, so 30 cents. Uh, it's a Mary Moo Moo's Buttercream Wishes, a Nesco 1993, so I could try and sell it in my Etsy. Uh, it's a cow, a chicken, and a pig celebrating a birthday. I just thought that was really cute, and this would definitely go to raising money for a Sunrise Animal Sanctuary. And then the, that one I got at Goodwill, and then this I got today at St. Denis and Inchbroming for 50 cents, and it is a Humco Swan Family figurine and they seem to be listing anywhere between eight and twelve dollars right now between eBay and Etsy. I didn't find anything wrong with this at all. Bills are still intact, both babies are still on there. And again, because this is more a wild bird, I split the birds up. Uh more wild a bird it goes to sunrise and more pet like bird the money goes to uh you pause. All right. I mentioned it's Doctor Who Day, didn't I? Now, while I didn't find Doctor Who stuff, I found three angels this week to turn into. So this is what they're going to turn into, is Weeping Angel Tree Toppers. I have five different ones available in my Etsy store right now, and I will be bringing them to the Jingle Bell Shop December 7th and 8th, whatever weekend that is. Um... Here locally, it's at St. Michael's. Um, so those are what these are going to turn into. Although one of them is not going to be a tree topper, I just noticed. It's going to. I'm going to try and do it. But look, someone put a music box in here, and it does work. Music box. So, but I will have to try and make her her own separate thing. She does stand up well. She's got the cool hair to the side, which I've done before. And the fabric wings kind of suck, but they should paint well. They'll take a good base coat. If you hear that, that's the cat because he's pissed. I'm not laying him in for this. So I think this one I picked up for 75 cents today or something like that. Um, or was this one in the box? I think this one is in the box. I think this one is a dollar fifty, And you can see why I was thrown off because it came in a box and the box does not mention... A music box, so I think 
anyway. I don't know. Very confused. And then this one I is the one I think I paid 75 cents for. Um, I particularly like that the hair is going completely differently than any other one, and the wings are totally different than any other one I've done. She's, her face is a little dirty, but that's fine because it's just going to get covered in paint. We'll take off all this frilly gold. We'll see if this gold dress will paint or not. I doubt it. I may have to make her dress, but importantly, she still has her plastic intact. And then the one I picked up earlier this week at St. Vinny's, which I picked two for, Sale. It has plastic wings, but very cool detailed wings, and that will repaint nicely. I have repainted plastic. She has her hair up. They all turn out different. I'll definitely have to totally make a new dress for her because this stuff does not paint. Um, stop that. Um, a little breakaway to the kitchen section before going to ornament. I only paid a buck for this. I waited two weeks for it to go on sale, and it's probably just going to go on my bar and sit there because I think there's a small chip in this. It looks like there's a small chip, but I don't feel the chip. But it's a kind of mustache and a bow tie, and I kind of love it. Um, <laughs> and it's got this very heavy base, so it'd be really cute to put something in, like, swords or cocktail things um so it wouldn't tip over and then clifford stop scratching the door um continuing on looking for starburst things i think i paid 20 cents a piece for these um two of them are the same pattern of starburst i haven't looked them up at all and one's this one which almost looks more like a christmas star pattern um, but again, I'm just collecting Starburst silverware until I feel I have enough for a lot to sell. Uh, I picked up this at Vinny's. I can't remember if it was the... At most, I paid $0.79. Cents. I can't remember what color of the week was. Um, but it was this really pretty horse mug. And it says Bavaria Schumann Arsberg, Germany. And I think several people had similar ones listed without saucers. I didn't find a saucer with it um, for about eight to ten dollars. Oh, we'll put that back down. And then I found this one today and I think I paid 50 cents for it. Um, and it's just really cute like in Spanish cup. Like the bottom still isn't in Spanish. It's recycled paper pots Japan. But it's all these birds and it says, que pasa on the signature. And I can't quite make out the signature. And then it says, on this side, one of the birds is wearing a sombrero. And it says, Juan in a million. Yay, puns. So, and then we're going to do the Christmas ornament thing. So this is the only Christmas ornament I liked at Goodwill. And again, I, at most I paid a buck. But... And at first, I didn't think this was its box. Like, I seriously didn't think it. Of course, you would snap off like that. You couldn't just come out properly. No. It's okay. That snaps back in. When I have more coordination. Okay, I'll do that later. So, it says it's a limited edition. This is the number three in the series of fairies, gnomes, trolls, and other woodland creatures celebrating the spirit of Christmas. And it's from 1981, so it's as old as I am. Edition limited to 25,000. And again, the top will go back on. But it's just this cute cardinal with a flute playing, like, gnome in the tree. I thought that was really cute. And it came in its box. Um, and, of course, you had to do this stuff to me. There we go. Back on. So I think I'll definitely try to... Sell this one online since it might actually survive shipping in its own container with more fishing around. But I thought it was really cute with the fairy gnome theme. Um, then I, I picked up a bag from Thriftish because I, okay, random bow that will probably go back to one of the thrift stores. I grabbed this bag and it was the whole bag was a freaking quarter because I saw this in there. It's a 1992 Energizer Bunny. And I, I picked up two of these in package, new in package, 
like this summer, and there's four in the series, and I literally couldn't tell if this was one of the ones I had or not, but I was willing to risk it for a quarter um, to see if I could have three out of the four in the set. And so, what else is in this random bag? Uh, we'll see if the other piece is in there for this. One of the glass things came out. <laughs> um... Uh, ZB Core 1991 patent pending. Apparently, you could print out a picture and put it in there. Again, I'll probably craft with it. Oh, fun. Okay. There's apparently a deer candle in here that is just looking pathetically sad. I'm gonna put that over there. Uh, there's apparently some sort of thing. I, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to go like this. But if nothing else, those beads would be great to recycle. It's not a bad design. Apparently it's supposed to hang somewhere. Yeah, paid a quarter for all this. There appears to be a M&M, green M&M guy. Can't tell what year it's from. And a little snowman ring. I'm going to throw that into someone's box. And this... Oh, it's a doggy! <laughs> okay, that's cute. With his tongue sticking out. Looks like something someone painted at home. But that's kind of cool. But considering I was just aiming for the one thing in that bag. Uh, and then... St. Vinny's in Spring had the best selection of ornaments this year. So this, I don't know if I'm going to give as an ornament or if I'm going to upcycle it into a craft project. Because that's a pretty cool musical bar. I suppose I should figure out if it actually plays a Christmas tune. Like if it's got the notes or jingle bells or not. Got a Coca-Cola bear cap ornament. It says it's from 94. So technically, I could sell that Etsy. This is my favorite one I found. It's Bianca from The Rescuers. And then I just liked the guitar with the angel sitting on it. Thought that was an interesting design. And a green carousel horse. And a Santa bear. It says Teddy Claus on it. I literally just got these today. I haven't looked them up or anything. And then this, I was really impressed with because the, uh, he seemed like really good quality. Like he's all jointed and he's maybe singing carols or reading a Christmas story to someone. And he still has his glasses on. And, and I literally, for two angels, all the Christmas ornaments, a mug, and the figurine paid less than six bucks for everything at St. Vinny's. So I think I paid like a quarter to 50 cents each ornament. I'm not sure. But I had to rescue him. He just looks really higher quality. I don't see any markings on him. But he seems really well put together. Uh, the only real damage I could see is the leather on the book is kind of tattered and worn. But everything else looks good. So that's everything I got this week. Um, we headed to Ishbring because there was like a bake sale going on out there. And by the time we got there, it was pretty much all gone. And we weren't more than 25 minutes late. So it was slightly insane. So I'm really glad I have to go to thrift stores any, anyway. So I didn't waste the gas. Plus the gas is cheaper up that way for some reason this year. Um, but, you know, not a huge amount, but not like... I had a very small haul last time. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.